And believe it or not, restaurants in one neighborhood are thriving. A variety of factors have small businesses in Chatham cooking up a storm. CBS News' Stephen Graves joins us live there. Stephen, they're bucking the trend and actually hiring? <laughs> Yeah, Brad, that's because some of these places are seeing revenue increases. It is also because of what some people might have seen as a disadvantage on the south side before is proving more profitable now. At Chicago Doughboys on 71st Street, the dining space is small, but its owners are big on ambition. Most entrepreneurs, you have to be innovative. You have to know and, and actually pivot in these moments. Chris and Nicole Fryson opened during the pandemic, so the takeout and delivery concept is rooted in the business model. When the state order came down banning indoor dining, it didn't phase them. They already know what works. We were able to come out the gate already with that framework. Our sales have increased week to week because of that. The south side differs from our north side counterparts because we don't have a lot of indoor dining. Nidra Fears with the Greater Chatham Initiative says that helped the about 20 restaurants she works with feel prepared for new COVID restrictions. They've never really banked on indoor service and takeout is only getting more popular. A third of the restaurants that sell have equaled or exceeded what it was in 2019. Some are even hiring, like Stephanie Hart, founder of Brown Sugar Bakery. I'm looking for folks to cut cake and actually do cake assembly right now. She had to close her small, limited seating shop for seven weeks, but in that time she created a website strengthening pickup services. Her fellow businesses on 75th Street followed similar paths. Now they're getting orders from across the city. We're used to adapting. We're used to surviving. It's unfortunate because I would have liked to have more sit down restaurants on the south side. But in this particular instance, with this particular scenario, it has worked out to the benefit of the businesses. And I'm told another reason for increased sales is that when civil unrest happened, it closed a lot of uh, grocery stores in this area as well. So you have a lot of families now going to these restaurants looking for discounted family meals, which of course brings in that money. Brad? Yeah, the good and the bad there. Stephen, did any of these businesses, the ones you talked to, uh, some of them that are seeing some remarkable success, did they get any financial assistance on the front end from the government? Yeah, Brad, that's important to note. I'm told that most of these biz businesses did get the PPP loans as well as some grants, so that helped them initially retain staff. But is what's keeping them going right now, like I said, lines like this behind me, the community really stepping up and helping them out. All right, those loans helped them to pivot. Our thanks to Stephen Graves.